Early Earth was a completely different place from what we see today. The atmosphere did not have any oxygen. It was a mix of methane, carbon dioxide, and other volcanic gases. Also, the ocean waters contained a large amount of dissolved iron. With a no oxygen environment, the life that existed on the Earth was dominated by anaerobic organisms. Anaerobes could only live in an oxygen free environment. For them, Oxygen was a deadly poison. So what happened that everything changed on air? An atmosphere became full of oxygen and oceans got rid of dissolved iron, supporting the evolution of current life on the planet. The heroes of our story are the cyanobacteria. These macroscopic organisms were different from their anaerobic peers that were dominant on the early Earth. Cyanobacteria had a unique revolutionary trick. They could use sunlight to create their own food through photosynthesis. It was a radical idea that unlocked a new source of energy for life on Earth. But there was a byproduct to this process. Oxygen. <laughs> Through photosynthesis, cyanobacteria began to release oxygen into their environment. It started slowly, bubbling out of the water and reacting with the dissolved iron in the oceans. This is why we have massive geological formation called banded iron formation today. This process continued for hundreds of millions of years. As iron depleted within ocean water due to its reaction with oxygen, the oxygen had nowhere else to go but to escape into the atmosphere. Later, this increase in the oxygen level of the atmosphere completely changed the chemistry of our planet. What happened next was one of the most dramatic and significant climate shifts in our planet's history. It is known as the Great Oxygenation Event. For most of life on the Earth at that time, oxygen was toxic. It was a slow poison that destroyed their cells and ruined their environment. The Great Oxygenation Event was literally the first mass extinction for billions of organisms. In this period, the planet went through a dramatic change. Methane, a strong greenhouse gas, was reacting with the newly generated oxygen, causing the global temperature to drop. This elimination of methane may have led to the so-called snowball earth period, where the planet was nearly entirely covered in ice. It was a total planetary reset all thanks to the simple waste product of a tiny microbe. The anaerobic life that had dominated the planet was either driven to extinction or forced to retreat into oxygen-free pockets of the world, where they still exist today. But from this great catastrophe, a new era of life was born. The new oxygen-rich atmosphere paved the way for more complex aerobic forms of life. I mean creation of organisms that could use oxygen for highly efficient metabolism. The story of the Great Oxygenation event reminds me that the smallest living things can have the most profound impact. Alright guys, that's all for this video. In the next video, I will talk about the Cambrian Explosion a biological big bang that set the stage for evolution of multicellular life and eventually us on the earth. So stay tuned.